it would have been helpful if you could have had the shirt that was on decedent. Would you agree? No, it would have been helpful, but the photographs um, uh, are very useful in themselves. You know this, do you not, that when Mr. Binion was first seen by the first paramedical, the shirt was buttoned up. And he unbuttoned it. Yeah, Did I'm you not, know that? Uh, I believe so, but I, I, I'm not sure if I knew that or not. But uh, that's usually what's done in order to do to check the person out. Wouldn't you like to, for instance, measure one button to the other to see if the two marks have the same distance? <coughs> you say they're buttons. I'm asking you, wouldn't you want to measure? If the buttons pretend, I'm, I'm hypoth they're three inches apart, but I'm making this up, just hypothetical. But, but, but the marks are six inches apart, probably is going to be those buttons. So you wanna, you'd like the shirt, you'd like to look at the buttons, you'd like to measure the buttons, wouldn't you? Yes. Okay. You'd like to know, for instance, what the diameter of the button is. The imprints that any button or any object makes on the skin is not the exact same thing as the, as the uh, mark because the skin is pliable. Wouldn't you want to know in a perfect yeah. world? In a perfect world, I would like to see the clothing want detail. Scientists want particularity. Scientists are very precise. You'd want to know how thick the button is, what the button's made of, you know, how much pressure before a button would break. You'd want to experiment, wouldn't you, in a, in a serious case? You'd, well, okay. you'd well like first that. of all, all cases are serious. All right. Secondly, uh, no, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't want experiment. Why did you ask then the medical examiner for the shirt if you didn't want to look to, at it? To see what was on the clothing, to mm -hmm. look at the buttons. I wouldn't do any experiments with that. This is the point. Uh, the point's obvious. With two levels of fabric in between the button and the chest, there's no way there's going to be an imprint in the manner that you have uh, interpreted. Isn't that a fact, sir? Well, I, I don't accept what your premise is. The button has to be in some way uh, against the skin. And if it's twisted over, I could take this button and just twist it against my skin and make a, a very nice mark, which I just did. Yes, so, but the button, according to the evidence, was buttoned. Well, you're telling me the evidence. I didn't see any record of that. And maybe somebody testified to that, but my opinion is we, we, that we have, we have uh, pictures of it. one button was buttoned. The others weren't buttoned. No, sir. The two top buttons were buttoned. Not in the picture. I, I don't believe. The no, because the guy undu he well, I don't know what undid he did. the buttons. Yeah, I don't know what he did or didn't, but I think that... Uh, there was no record of that, at least when I looked over the, the record. For previously. your theory to prevail, sir, isn't it just as you just said, that button got to be up against your skin? Well, it could be. That no, is no, not no, just no. what you said. No, no, no. The button, I, I said the button could be against the skin, even if it's uh, on top of the fabric, because it gets twisted around. If, if the or button. if it's enough pressure, one can, it depends on the thickness of the cloth and all that. If the button isn't against the skin, your fantasy theory goes out the window, doesn't it? Your theory goes out the window, doesn't it? No.